Snake Bite Spicy Sauce by Reptile World Discovery. It hurts so good. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know this isn't my usual content, but I put a poll on my Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted to see my spicy sauce. So today we're making Reptile World Discovery Snake Bite Spicy Sauce. For this recipe, you will need a small bowl and a medium-sized mixing bowl, some chili powder, just your normal chili powder in your cabinet will do, and you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. It really does not matter as long as it's to your liking. So I'm just gonna put this in a separate mixing bowl, and that's not what's gonna give you the spice, that's what's gonna give you the flavor. So next we're gonna add some spicy cayenne. And I usually add a lot of this because I like a lot of spice in my sauce. So we're just gonna add um, pretty much the whole bottle towards the end. So I'm just gonna add this in, and uh, yeah, it's gonna give that that kick that we like. Um, it's gonna bump up that heat. So the next thing that I am going to do, of course, guys, is you're going to want to um, mix the dry spices together. And I feel like it's better than mixing them in the wet with the wet ingredients because it really just makes everything fold together really, really nicely. So next we're gonna grab our soy sauce, just your all brand special soy sauce. It really isn't that special. And you're just gonna add a couple pumps if you have a squeeze bottle like mine. Um, but if you don't, I think it's about three teaspoons to be exact, or uh, two to four, ta uh, just two tablespoons works. So next, we're going to add some ginger flavoring. If you don't have ginger at home, I find that this poke marinade sauce works really well because it has 50% ginger in it. And we're just going to add a few like little shakes of that in there, and it really gives out that nice uh, special aroma of that ginger. If you're not a ginger person, you can always leave that out. So the next step, guys, is going to be to thicken this up because right now it's just soy sauce and ginger. So we're going to add our spicy mix in. And you're going to want to mix this in very thoroughly so that you get all of the ingredients in. Uh, and this is what's going to make it the snake bite. This is why it's going to make it hurt so good, guys. This is going to be a really good recipe to put over noodles or anything else. But we're not quite done yet. I'm just going to mix this up for a while and then we will... Uh, do the rest of the recipe. So now that I have this all mixed, I'm gonna add some water because with the soy sauce and the chili powder, there is quite a bit of sodium and salt. So this is just gonna loosen it up, but I am going to add more chili powder for more flavoring because when you want it to actually stick to the noodles or the rice or whatever you put it on there. So I ended up adding the rest of the bottle. But with that, again, I am a spice freak and I love spicy food. So we have to mix this up. And of course, guys, we're gonna have to add more cayenne and more cayenne is better than ever. I love cayenne so much, and it really just gives everything the right flavor, so I ended up pretty much adding the rest of the bottle. Sorry, Mom. Um, so we're just going to mix this up until it's mixed thoroughly, and basically that's it, guys. It's a really simple recipe, and it tastes so good, guys. So I'm just going to mix this up, break up all those little spice chunks, and there we go. We are good to go go guys but we actually aren't quite done yet so i'm gonna mix this some more because i realized that there were some lumps you really want to make sure that there's no lumps after that you can pretty much put it in a lock bag and then just store it away in the fridge i know that the video cut out here but the picture did not so thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram at reptile world discovery and have a great day